So please join me in welcoming Congressman Cedric Richmond. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Thank you for that introduction. Let me start with saying a few thank yous to some very key people who helped us in our rebuilding. And of course, you will hear from most of them later, but my colleagues from Congress, I know we have Sheila Jackson Lee here, we have Maxine Waters, and you will hear from the first female speaker of the United States Congress, Nancy Pelosi. I also want to thank our I want to thank our city council, our former Senator Mayor Landrew, Mary Landrew, who, who has been a champion for the state of Louisiana and the city of New Orleans. Mary, I know I don't have to translate New Orleans uh, language, but that means we love you. Uh, I also want to thank former Governor Kathleen Blanco, who is here today, who led us through the storm. And of course, our Mayor Mitch Landrieu and our City Council members, I see Susan Guidry and Jared Brosett. We owe a lot of thanks to millions of people around the country who donated either money or time or who got on their knees and prayed for our resurrection and for our recovery. But I want to take a second to thank another group of people. I want to thank the people of New Orleans who had the faith and the courage to come back when it looked like there was nothing to come back to. People in New Orleans East rebuilt their homes before the city rebuilt the fire station and the police station and the hospital. And they did it because of faith and courage and the love of the city. People in Lakeview and people in the Lower Ninth Ward came back when people didn't think that those areas could be rebuilt. But I remember being at Beacon Light Church when they had their first service. And Bishop Brister preached about they thought we were buried. And they really did think that the city of New Orleans was buried underwater. But they forget that we're a special type of people down here. We're that strange seed that can actually grow underwater. So instead of being buried, we actually are growing into the city that we deserve to be in the city that we want to be. And we, we are here commemorating the 10 years that have just passed, the 10 years of hard work and dedication. But we're also doubling down on our effort that we still have work to do. Until every person that wants to come home has the ability to come home, we're not done. Till every person that's here, but they're not whole, until they're whole, we still have work to do. So today, let's celebrate our great music and our great leadership. And then let's go home and get ready to roll up our sleeves and double down because we still have a bunch of work to do. Thank you, New Orleans. I love you and God bless you and the United States. Now, I have the pleasure of introducing someone that I work with every day. Someone who was nice enough to invite me to go to Italy a couple weeks ago to, to the World Food Expo, which, just so you know, New Orleans food was showcased very finely in the USA Pavilion. But this woman saw the response to Katrina and decided that she would set up a special task force to help guide us through the federal regulations and get us more money. And she appointed Jim Clyburn to head that committee. And when I was elected, every day that I saw her, the question was, what else does New Orleans need? Now, they only spent, sent down $14 billion initially to help us rebuild the levees, and they did it in cash, which is kind of unique. So I want to introduce to you and present to you the first female speaker of the United States House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi.
Thank you all very much. Thank you, Congressman Richmond.